Good morning, AP, and happy Women's History Month. Welcome to Nightline News. Broadcasting live from Academy Park World News Headquarters, I'm Erskine. And I'm Lamont. Today is Wednesday, March 20th, and it is a day two. We will answer yesterday's Women's History Month trivia question as well as ask today's a little later on in the broadcast, so stay tuned. First, here's AP's resident meteorologist, Sarah, with today's weather. Thank you, Erskine. Today, there will be a high of 55 degrees with low 39, expected to be partly cloudy. And now, Erskine Lamont, what are some things happen AP that students should know about? Thank you for asking, Sarah. Due to the lack of pre-sale tickets, the frost has unfortunately been canceled. If you pre-purchase a ticket, see Mrs. Sacrania in room 241 for a refund. Reading Olympics. Reading Olympics permission slips are available in the library. They are due by March 29th. We need 12 participants in order to compete. African Student Association. The African Student Association, or ASA, will be having meetings each Wednesday, that's today, after school in Mr. Jones' room, room 142. Art scholarships. Students, the art department has new scholarships available for a variety of local art institutions. If you are interested, see Ms. Rakowski. Junior prom. Junior prom tickets will be on sale until April 19th in the library and room 245. Tickets are $65 per person, cash only. The junior prom will be held on April 26th at 7 p.m. Students, AP's new debate team is looking for members. If you are interested, meetings will be held in room 143 at the school on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Students, $450 citations will still be given if you observe sitting on or leaning against cars and vehicles, including motorcycles, in the staff parking lots. Additionally, for your own safety, do not hang out in the staff parking lot. This means no standing around, walking, running, or playing near parked cars. Please stay on the sidewalks. And remember, when you're in lunch, show respect for everything that the cafeteria staff does to make your lunch experience a good one by keeping your area clean. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Destiny with sports. Thank you, Lamont. The boys' tennis team plays an away match at Penwood this afternoon. Dismissal will be at 145. Listen for the announcement. And boys' varsity and JV baseball takes on Pottstown away. Game starts at 345. And now, Nine Line News presents Napoleon with your Women's History Month trivia question. Thank you, Destiny. Yesterday's Women's History Month trivia question was who was the first Asian American woman elected to Congress in 1965? She served in the U.S. House of Reps for 24 years as a rep of Hawaii. The answer is Patty Takamoto Mink. Mink was the first non-white woman and the first Asian American woman elected to Congress. She was also the first woman elected to Congress from the state of Hawaii and became the first Asian American to seek the presidential nomination of the Democratic Party in 1972 election, where she stood in the Oregon primary as an anti-war candidate from 1978 to 81. Mink served as the president of Americans for Democratic Action. Today, Women's History Month trivia question is nominated by President Barack Obama. This woman became the first Latina Supreme Court Justice in U.S. history. Again, nominated by President Barack Obama. This woman became the first Latina Supreme Court Justice in U.S. history. Please email your responses to Mrs. Art Mont by 1225. From everyone here at Nightline News, I'm Napoleon. I'm Bob. I'm Destiny. I'm Erskine. And I'm Lamont. Have a great day, Knights. Keep the electronics out of sight and those student IDs visible. And remember, Alice Walker once said, the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. Thanks, Knights, for tuning in this morning.